Well, first came the ice, then the freezing drizzle, and then the snow. Clearing up right now on 35W heading south. Not too bad as we're driving down this road. This is a live look from our mobile weather lab today. One benefit, of course, today is that it is President's Day. That means there is no school and fewer cars and buses than you'd find on a typical Monday afternoon. Still, the conditions are not ideal. For many, the freezing rain is over and snow is moving in. Chris Schaefer joins us now with the latest of what's going on out there. Hi, Chris. Hey, yeah, it's certainly not a monster storm. It's more of a nuisance one mainly affecting the roadways, getting around, causing some slick spots. Notice how the snow is starting to thin now around the Twin Cities. But yeah, at different points during the day, we've had some mixed precipitation, some sleet, even some freezing rain, where we did expect it down in southeastern Minnesota with some rain showers as well. Fortunately, this is moving out, and we are going to catch a little break from the snowfall. Folks up north, it does remain more steady and widespread for you, but we're not out of the woods yet. We are still in a winter weather advisory, pretty much the whole state in western Wisconsin, because round two is on the way. We'll cover the timing of that and let you know what effect it will have on tomorrow morning's commute, when, of course, we will have many more vehicles on the roadways, guys. Right. right. Thank you, Chris. Well, some roads and sideways are slick because of a layer of ice. The uh, slippery conditions gave drivers a, some of uh, a tough time on certain highways, sending some folks out into the ditch. The state patrol sent troopers to help with more than 450 spinouts and crashes since the freezing rain began falling this morning. Molly Rosenblatt is live in Blaine this evening. Molly, how are things going up there? Well, you know, it's snowing lightly, so light snow in nature, but with these brutal winds, it certainly does not feel comfortable out here. And we've got 35 right behind me. Traffic is actually moving along just fine. The plows have been coming through. We've been seeing them. But earlier today, we caught up with folks to see how they're dealing with the dicey road conditions. Clearing ice off her windows isn't the only hassle in this wintry weather. Renee Traver says she worries most about getting around. I usually go the back roads because I, I get too nervous on the freeway. That's just a personal thing. So I like to go slow and steady. <laughs> That's my plan. As for having a plan on navigating the roadways, she's certainly not alone. Driving two-wheel drive, you get where you want to go. Put in four-wheel drive when you go in the ditch. That's all. But don't go in the ditch. As far as ending up in the ditch, plenty of folks we caught up with say it's not their own driving that's most concerning. I think it's okay as long as you take you have to worry about the more more so the idiots than yourself because you know how to drive. And if you're from Minnesota, you should know how to drive anyway. So, I mean, it's Minnesota. What do you expect? Um, uh, thankfully, it hasn't been a horrible year. We've kind of got dumped on twice. Uh, this one's not as bad as the last. That's right, it's Minnesota. What do you expect? And as far as the roads go, 35 again is looking just fine. I think the plows have been doing their job. They've been doing a good job, but we know we're not out of the woods yet. We have more rounds of snow on the way, and Chris will tell us more about that coming up. Frank, yeah, back to right. you. He mentioned that. Thanks. Uh, MnDOT says right now the roads that they're dealing with are partially covered. The city crews tell us they're ready to go as well. They're asking drivers, of course, to uh, take it easy and slow if you're near a plow. They do say that having fewer vehicles on the road today is certainly making their job easier.